So you're excited to play Black Myth Wukong, you load it up, and ooh, it's an absolute slideshow. But what if I told you I could get the game to run 7.8 times faster and still look absolutely fantastic? I've spent hours testing each setting on an RTX 3060 equipped PC at 1440p to find that these five settings have the biggest impact on your FPS, and I've created three presets which aim to minimize the visual impact and maximize performance. And let's start off with my custom high preset, which right away I enabled DLSS quality. If you don't have NVIDIA, there are other options such as FSR, XESS, or TSR for a 38% gain, followed by disabling ray tracing for another 3.2x gain. Then for the graphic settings, I did view distance, cinematic, anti-aliasing very high, post effects high, shadows high, textures for eight gigabyte cards or higher cinematic should be doable but if you do see some chugging it may be worth reducing it i saw only around six to seven gigabytes of usage visual effect very high hair quality high vegetation high global illumination high and then reflections at very high and overall this brought us from around five frames per second which as you can imagine is an absolute nightmare to play this game at all the way up to 39 FPS on my RTX 3060 system. That is a 7.8 times increase. That's right, we're not burying the lead here, fellas. It gets even better than this if we go to the other presets, but you will notice, yes, there will be some graphical differences. Specifically, if we take a look at the two different variations here, you'll see Ultra will have a slightly better presentation as specifically shadows are the most noticeable because of the no ray tracing and reduced resolution of those shadows leading to some scenes having less depth. Although there are a lot of scenes where it's pretty minor as well. And the reduction in vegetation like trees and grass may also be noticeable based on the scene. But in most cases, the custom high preset won't really look that much worse in my opinion than the max settings and would likely be a great option for those using a modern NVIDIA 70 or 80 class GPU or AMD equivalent. However, if you're still struggling to get playable performance like I am on the RTX 3060, as yeah, I wouldn't necessarily consider 39 FPS to be that playable, you may wanna try out a custom medium preset that I've created. Now, much of the settings are going to be the same as high that we just went over. However, I'm gonna be changing DLSS to balanced or around 58% resolution, shadows to medium, vegetation to medium, and global illumination to medium. Overall, this is gonna be a 10X increase in performance versus full ultra or 50 FPS on an RTX 3060. And in terms of visuals, I really don't think it looks a whole lot worse when compared to the high preset. They look very, very comparable in most situations. The most noticeable downgrades will come in the form of further reduced vegetation and shadow quality, but overall the aesthetic remains the same and many people may find the differences to be mostly unnoticeable. Now these types of settings would probably be ideal for a GPU like the RTX 3060 Ti or similar AMD card at a minimum to lock 60 FPS, but even on my 3060, this is getting very close to a good playable frame rate. And finally, if you're still really struggling, I would recommend my custom low preset. Once again, these settings will be fairly similar, but we're now gonna be reducing DLSS to performance, which should be around 50%, shadows to low, and global illumination also to low. And overall, this is going to be a 14.2X increase in performance versus full ultra, or 71 frames per second on an RTX 3060, a card that's certainly not new. Now, this is a preset I could happily use on the 3060, as with over 70 FPS, I know I could lock a solid 60 FPS, but unfortunately, it does come at the cost of a significant reduction in visual quality. Specifically, the shadow detail and coverage is greatly reduced, which can make things like the forest 
not as convincing, but in a fast paced game like this, where input lag is the number one concern, it's a trade off many should consider to make it a more enjoyable experience. Now, yes, you can also double your FPS with frame generation on a newer GPU, but this will greatly increase input lag and is something I could only recommend as a last ditch effort. But there you have it, three presets for massive performance gains that all still look great. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to drop a like and comment below your system specs, and I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.